KPM. Hello, Assalamualaikum. You're watching Success SPM 2021 with me, Shafika Farahin Razali, for the whole one hour. And today, as you can guess, it's Bahasa Inggris for the topic. Just wait a bit. Before that, I would like to first remind you, please practice the SOP set by the government. Remember, we haven't won against the war against COVID-19. Okay, practice washing your hands frequently, wear your own face mask when you're outside your homes, wash, uh, wear your hand sanitizers and also keep a physical distancing of at least one meter. All right, kids, students, are you ready for this session? Before we do anything, let's first introduce our teacher for today. Let's take a look at the teacher's profile. And in the studio with us is teacher Faiza Ayuni Binti Jamil. She's also the Ketua Panitia for Bahasa Inggeris from SMK Bagan Terap Sungai Besar. Assalamualaikum, Cikgu. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you for joining us in the studio today. Okay. How are you? Um, great. I can't be better. Feeling fine. All right. Today's topic, as you can guess, is Mother Nature. But before we do anything, teacher, I would like to invite you to please yes. practice our SOP and use the hand sanitizer provided here. So, um, can you come a bit nearer to me? Sure. And you can try the sanitizer first and then me. Okay, right. So today's topic, Mother Nature, mm -hmm. is a bit mysterious, as you can tell, because it doesn't say a lot. Can okay. you tell a bit, maybe give a hint to our students out there on what we'll be learning today? Okay, thank you, Fika. So what's exciting about today's lesson is that mm -hmm. we, will have, we will learn about some useful vocabularies. Okay, and then there will be a short debate session where students will do more talking compared to the teacher. So it won't be a traditional class where the teacher do the, uh, where the teachers do the talking and students do the nodding, yes teacher, yes teacher. So it will be quite different from the traditional English class. Ah, so today is, seems very interesting. I'm sure yes. students are huh? very excited about that. So now we've asked the teacher what the class is all about. Let's see what the students have to say. Assalamualaikum. Hi, my name is Muhammad Azli bin Muhammad Shuku. I'm from SMK Bagantarap. Today I want to talk about air pollution. Simple way to reduce air pollution is using public transportation or share a car to work. We can reduce scale of using car, cars and motorcycle in the world by following this trick. The car and the motorcycle release gas carbon monoxide into the air. The gas, the effect human inhale gas carbon monoxide is Hard, hard, hard to breathe and worse can cause death. Thank you. Hello, my name is Lee Shamimi Binti Nesli. I am from SMK Bagantau. In my opinion, one of the ways to reduce air pollution is by using public transport. For example, like rail transit or we call LRT. I think it is the best way of contributing to less air pollution as it provides with less gas and energy. Thank you. And there you have it, some opinions about air pollution from our students. Right, before we start anything, teacher, yes. let's introduce our students that will be joining us from SMK Bagan Terap Sungai Besar. Hi students, welcome! All right. How are you guys? Are you doing good? Can we start uh, introducing yourselves one by one, starting with Aisha? Hi. Uh, my name is Siti Aisha Binti Saiful Johari. Mm -hmm. I am 17 years old. Ah, okay. Aisha, what do you think about ma Mother Nature? Can you share a bit what's your opinion on that? Um, it's about... Uh, the nature 
uh, of universe. <laughs> ah, okay. The nature of universe, very mysterious as well, such as our title. Okay, can we have uh, maybe Badrul next? Hi, Badrul. Okay. Hello. Okay. My, my name is Badrul Iskandar, I'm Mama Sifu Mizan. Mm -hmm. And I'm from SMK Bagan Terap. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, Badrul, uh, yeah. how about you? What do you think Mother Nature is? Hmm. Mother Nature? Mm -hmm. I think it's about the nature mm -hmm. and it's about the, the... There's a good thing about nature and there's a bad thing about nature. Okay, yeah. <laughs> still very <laughs> mysterious, that teacher. It, it's but getting more and more mysterious. It's getting more... The yeah. more we know, the more mysterious it gets. <laughs> All right, no worries. We'll learn about this more from our teacher, Faiza. Okay, can we have our next student, uh, Farahai Rin? Hi, Farah. Hi, Farah. Okay, I think okay. we'll go on to the next student first. Um, it seems like there's a bit of a technical issue. Let's go, let's go to Yasmin. Hello, my name is Shazana Yasmin binti Muhammad Rosli. I am 17 years old and I'm from SMK Bagantara. Okay, thank you there, Yasmin. And hi, Carl. Hi, my name is Haikal Azizi Bejamil. I'm from SNK Bagantara. Okay, Haikal. And the last one. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Uh, hi, mm. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Shaza Alia. Okay. And I came from SNK Bagantara. All right, thank you very much, Nur Shaza. All right, kids, are you ready to study after this? Can you give me a thumbs up? Okay, we'll be right back after this with Success SPM 2021 on Bahasa Inggris. Mother Nature will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Didik TV KPM Didik TV KPM My name is Siti Nafahai Niki Azmi and I'm from SMK Bagan Terap. There are many ways to reduce the air pollution. For instance, carpooling. Carpooling is a group of people sharing the same car to go somewhere. A study showed on how MCO during the COVID-19 pandemic had a huge impact on the air quality. Since the negative movement had been restricted, new people are using vehicles, thus showing a noticeable change in the air quality. We can conclude here that air pollution are mostly caused by the GHG emissions from vehicles. However, we won't be having the MCO for the rest of our life. So, here where coupling comes. Coupling have the same concept with the MCO, which is newer cars mean less GHG emission and less air pollution. Not just that, you can also have fun with your friend while traveling. I hope people will consider to start practicing coupling to help in improving our air quality. Welcome back to Success SPM 2021. Today we're learning about Bahasa Inggris as the language I'm speaking now. And our topic today is Mother Nature. Ah, just now we talked a bit about it with mm -hmm. teacher Faiza and also our students in the studio today. But it's still a mystery on what we're going to learn today. So teacher, yes. please, I give the floor to you to start on our lesson. Okay, thank you, Fika. All right, sorry. Mm -hmm. I huh? think we had one student that we didn't uh, get to introduce just now. Can I get Faiza? to introduce yourself, please. All right. Um, my name is Farah Hairi binti Muhammad Rosli, mm -hmm. and I'm 17 years old. Okay, Farah. Thank you so much. Now we know you. We can start the lesson, teacher. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, hi, kids, and hi, people at home. Okay. Now, kids, if you are ready to start off the lesson, show me your double thumbs up and show me your biggest smile. Come on, double thumbs up. Biggest smile, kids. Biggest smile, see. Okay, thank you. The days are brighter with their smiles, right? Right. Okay. So I now, agree. kids, so going, uh, we are going to start our lesson now. So this is my profile, my humble profile. Okay, so this is the topic of our lesson for today, Mother Nature. So before I start the lesson, Fika, yes. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Why do you think we call it Mother Nature? Why not Sister Nature, Brother Nature, Granny Nature? Why is it? Why Mother Nature? 
Okay, first of all, I think Mother Nature sounds right because okay. it refers maybe to perhaps our mothers who has always been accommodating and taking care of us all the time. Is, is that something to do with that, teacher? You are genius. Okay, <gasps> just like okay. how a mother provides us with whatever we need, that's mm -hmm. how nature has been attending to our needs. So when right. we want water, we can get the water from the seas, from the lakes, when we want woods. The forests have all kinds of woods for us, so that is why it is called Mother Nature. Nature. Just like what a mother does, attending to our needs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, going back to the lesson. So people, so kids, before we start the lesson, we will have a, a simple game. Okay, so after this, teacher will move to the next slide and on each slide, you will, be, uh, you will see a jumble word. A word, but the letters have been jumbled. And you guys will have to raise to guess the word as fast as you can. Then, for this, for this game, mm -hmm. okay, uh, for example, Gigi, if Gigi has managed to give me the correct answer, somebody else, teacher will point out, somebody else will have to praise Gigi, to say something good about Gigi. Ah. Honestly, from your heart. Okay, but this time, Fika, again, I need your favour. Okay. I need, you, I need you to point out the fastest student. Okay, I will. Okay. So I will I will do my job to really focus on choosing who is the faster t teacher. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, so kids, we will uh, start now. Ready? All right. First word. Okay, kids, who can answer? Badrol. Okay. I see badrol. Badrol, mm -hmm. okay. Badrol, what is your answer? Okay, my answer is... Dust. Dust. Okay, exactly. That's the right wow. word. Dust. Okay, now, Shaza, can you please say something nice about Badrul? <laughs> um, Badrul is so nice and I love her voice. Oh. Eh, his voice. Okay, you love his his voice. Okay, so Badrul will be so much happy listening okay. to that. Okay, moving on to the next word. Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh. Come on, come on. All right, who? Okay, Yasmin. We have Yasmin, right? Okay, teacher? Yasmin. Mm -hmm. Tell me. The word is? The answer is smoke. Smoke. Very good. S M O K E. Okay, now, mm -hmm. Gigi, say something good about, about, uh, about Yasmin. Something good, something nice? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yasmin is so pretty. Oh, oh my God. Okay, okay. okay thank you. <laughs> So Yasmin will be smiling all day listening to that. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Teacher, I realize this is a bit of a mind game as well. Yeah, they have to crack up their brain and um, react as fast as they can. Ah, okay, okay. okay. So, mm -hmm. third word, everyone, third word. Third word. Ah, Aisha. Aisha. Uh -huh. Okay, Aisha. The word is? Uh, hazardous. Hazardous. Okay, hazardous. yeah, correct. Hazardous. Mm -hmm. um, Yasmin? Good words yes. about, about Aisha, please. Good words. Aisha is very pretty and she has a good voice. Oh my God, good voice. <laughs> Can she pretty. sing? <laughs> okay, thank you. All right. Next one. Okay. Next one. Come on, Next people. Two? Oh, Farah. Okay, come on, Farah. Say. Mm -hmm. The answer is? The answer is atmosphere. Atmosphere, atmosphere. you got it right. Atmosphere. Now, um, Shaza. Something good about Farah? Um, Farah is really good uh, in art. Really good? Really good? What is it? Pardon? In art. In, in art. art. Oh, so Farah is an artistic person. Wow. Okay, thank you. Okay. Last but not least, the last word. The last word, come on. Okay, it's Haikal. Haikal, okay. Haikal, mm -hmm. the word is? Suffocate. Uh, Suffocate. Okay, thank you. So now okay. it's Badrul turns to say something good about Gigi. About Haikal, I mean, sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, Haikal is very, uh, is a responsible person. Res yeah. Responsible person. Well, nobody can deny that he is indeed a responsible person. Okay, good okay. job, people. All so, right. We have learned about six words. Mm -hmm. We have discovered six words and all the words are related to our topic, which is Mother Nature. Mother so, nature. moving on, kids. So I think we've got enough positive vibe to start off the lesson. Yes, okay. definitely. Okay, now, before we get deeper, let us have a look at the objectives. So, as you can see on the, on the screen, kids, mm -hmm. 
we have three objectives to unlock today. So as you can see, the objectives are still locked. Okay. So the first one is to match all six terms with their definition correctly in terms of written. Mm -hmm. Compare and describe two pictures. So you guys will do the talking more than me, remember. Using words given and relevant details. And number three is justify their opinions and arguments comprehensively. That is the strong word. Comprehensively. It must be comprehensible. Okay? Mm -hmm. People must understand you and include suitable supporting details. Okay, so enough with the objective. First uh, task, the first task. Now, first task is vocabulary. Match the terms with their correct definition. Let us see. So people, this is how we will do this. So after this, you'll see slides with a picture and a term given. Then you will see two definitions. So your task, your job is to match the correct definition. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have to show it. Okay, before I forget, before I forget, people, kids, get ready with a piece of paper and a marker, please. If you have those two things, show them on screen. Papers and okay. markers. Okay, great. So on the paper, write, please write down A, letter A on one side and letter B on another side. Come on, 30 seconds, 30. Come on, kids. 20. That means two columns, yeah, teacher? Uh, A no, and no. B. Uh, oh, on, on the other side, side of the paper. Oh. Yeah, okay. Okay, if you are done, show me. Show me the letter A. If you are done, show me letter A. Okay, okay. Make sure it's large enough to be seen. Okay, exactly. Great. Good job. So now, now, um, Fika, mm -hmm. I need your favor again. Sure, no problem. So when I show this next slide, mm -hmm. they will uh, rush and um, show the answer as fast as they can, whether it is A or B. Okay. And then Fika will have to... Um, point out the person who showed their name the last. The last. Uh, oh, the last. The last one. The slowest, you mean? Yeah, the okay. slowest. Okay. This now in task A is the fastest. Mm -hmm. Now is the slowest. Slowest. Okay, okay now. teacher. Mm -hmm. And people, we have a, a simple punishment. Okay. If you are the slowest student, I mean in in this in term of this task, you will have the punishment. And you will have to bring your hands together in front of your face. Aha. Uh -huh. And then teacher will count three, two, one backward, and then. Brings your hands apart and show us your ugliest expression. Oh my goodness! Yeah, your ugliest please, expression. So the whole country will see your ugly teacher. face. Okay, I always do this in class. It's uh, entertaining for the teacher. Okay, okay, for the teacher only. Yeah, we have to find something entertaining, right? Okay, yes, so I kids, agree. if you are ready for the task, double thumbs up again and big smile again. Okay, okay, great. I'm a proud teacher. Okay, going to the first slide. Okay, Fika, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. First term, first picture. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, okay. Okay, we have some answers already. Waiting for Badrol. Ah. Okay, the last, okay. the last one. The last one was Badrol. Unfortunately, Badrol. Okay, Badrol. <laughs> so ready, Badrol. Okay. Badrol, hands together. We have to rush. Hands together. Hands together. I'm excited to see this. Okay. Don't forget to recite Bismillah. Okay, Badrol. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, <laughs> let's take a picture of that. <laughs> okay. Well, the whole country will get a nightmare looking at it. Okay, thank you, Badro. Good job. Okay, so for now, um, I need Shaza. Shaza? Okay. Shaza. Shaza, can you please read the term aloud and then share us the correct definition for number A, uh, for term number one? Uh, smoke. A smoke? mixture of smoke and fog caused by exhaust fumes and mm -hmm. factory gases. Factory gases. Okay. So your answer is A or B, Shaza? Uh, B. B. Okay. So let us see whether Shaza has given us a correct B. answer. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct, Good Shaza. job, Shaza. Okay, okay. now, uh, Shaza, just now you said <laughs> exhaust fumes. Exhaust fumes. Where do the exhaust yes. fumes come from, Shaza? Um, factory. Factory, good. Okay. Can so I give another example? Yes. I think exhaust fumes also comes from my car. Yeah. That hasn't been serviced for a while. Oh my God. Well, <laughs> Sorry for that, everyone. <laughs> we cannot really blame you. It's, it's PKP, it's MCO, right? Yes, so it's true. hard to get the service on time, right? Correct, okay. true. It's okay. Mm. Okay, people, second task. Second task, sorry, second question. Second question. Mm, come on, come on, come on. Okay, who is the last person? Come on, guys. Race against time. 
Okay. okay. So who is it this time? Pick up. I think it was Aisha. Aisha. <laughs> she knows I... it. <laughs> Aisha, it's your turn, Aisha. It's your turn. Mm -hmm. Just what light bite has just did. Okay, now. Aisha, three. Cover cover your face, please. Three, two, two one. one. Reveal. Allah, oh, so scary. Oh, my scary. God, that is... <laughs> <laughs> Thank ah, you. She was Thank trying you, to scare Aisha. us, teacher. Yeah, yeah, she was trying it? to scare us. Yeah, and we got, we got scared. <laughs> yeah. A bit, yes. Now, Badrol, read aloud the term and then give us your answer. Which one is the correct definition for acid rain, please? Okay, uh, uh, acid rain. Rain containing acid which are harmful, especially to trees and forests. Yeah, okay, so your answer is A or B? B. B, okay, so let us see the answer. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. Excellent. Okay, moving on, moving on. Question number three. Question number three, people, get ready with your answers. Answers yes. on screen. Uh huh. Okay, let's see who's the fastest and who's the slowest. Okay, fastest was Azizi, slowest was Yasmin. Yasmin, your turn now. Yasmin, your turn now. Yasmin, hands on, <laughs> hands on face. Three, three, two, one. One. Reveal. <laughs> you, we need to take a picture of that teacher. <laughs> Good job, Yasmin. Okay, now, uh, Haikal, Gigi. I, I call him Gigi. Gigi. Let's go. Okay, Gigi, come on. The term and the definition, come on. Uh, the term is all fill. Okay. And the term is the term the definition, definition. is B. B. <laughs> okay, so B. So your answer is B. A. Eh, A. A or B? Did no, you? no, A. <laughs> A. Okay, make up your mind. A. Okay, A. So a layer of oil. So let us see whether the answer is correct. You got it right, okay. Gigi. A. Good job, so Gigi. Oil spill is a layer of oil on the surface of the water. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. moving on. Question number four. Okay. All okay, right, get ready, guys. Get ready, get ready. You can show your answers already. Okay, Bajo was first and last is Gigi again. Oh, gosh. Okay, <laughs> Gigi. Again, again, Gigi. Hands on face, hands on face. Three, three, two, one. <laughs> Teacher, I Good. think schools should start doing this kind of punishment or penalty for them to try uh, to uh, find the right answer, right, Teacher? Yeah, they, they, they have it's to very be fun. fast. They have to rush. Uh -huh. Okay. So, this for this uh, for this one. Farah, your answer? My answer is A. Uh-huh. My answer is B. Your answer is A. Yes, she okay. said A. So she said A, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so toss it with A. So let us see. Okay, genius for A. Wow. Okay, moving on. Question number five. Okay. Two more questions, people. Two more questions. Question number five. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Who is the luckiest this time? Uh, Shaza. Shaza. Shaza was the last one, teacher. Okay, Shaza. Uh -huh. Your turn. It's mm -hmm. your turn. Hands on face, Shaza. And three, and two, and one. Uh. <laughs> that is the ugliest. Well, what to do? She is pretty, right? She so that is. is the ugliest. Okay, so now, Yasmin, your answer, Yasmin. The answer is B. B. So B. Um, Read aloud. So the term is fall food, fall food, fossil fossil fuels. Fossil fuels. Okay, good. The the definition. Okay, the meaning is substance such as coal and oil that were formed over millions of years and are burned for energy. Energy. So your answer is B, right? B. Okay. Let us see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let us see. Okay. okay. Well done, Yasmin. Correct. Correct answer. Teacher, I believe we have one more question, but yes. let's save the best for last. We're going for a short break first. Is that okay? okay? It's okay. All right, students, we'll see you after this on uh, Success SPM 2021. We'll be right back. DD TV KPM. DD TV KPM. Assalamualaikum kepada Noor Anis Sazana yang kini bersekolah di SMKA Tun Rahah Sabak Penam. Okey anak anda, anak anda akan menghadapi SPM 2021 tahun ini 
Jadi mak harapkan anak anda dapat membuat persediaan sebaik mungkin untuk SPM tahun ini. Dan mak juga harapkan anak anda, rakan-rakan anak anda dan semua calon SPM 2021 mendapat keputusan yang mengembirakan kalian. Uh, terima kasih juga kepada cikgu-cikgu yang telah membimbing dan membantu anak-anak ini untuk persiapan dan persediaan bagi SPM tahun 2021. Okey anak anda, semoga anak anda dapat bersedia ya. Berusaha, doa dan tawakal. InsyaAllah semua mendapat keputusan yang cemerlang nanti. Amin. And that was a very nice speech for SPM students uh, from uh, Anisha Zana's mother. All right, today we're learning about Bahasa Inggeris Mother Nature on Success SPM 2021. And we're still here with uh, teacher Faiza to teach us uh, this uh, topic. So teacher, yeah? just now we were learning about uh, how to, uh, we were trying a guessing game. And this is mm -hmm. the last question. Uh, please proceed. Okay, thank you. So kids, the last game before we proceed to the next task. Last question. Question number six. Term number six now. Answers on screen, people. Answers on screen. Okay. Answers Gigi on was screen. first. Farah. Waiting for you. <laughs> Maybe she was daydreaming. Okay, so the last person. The last person is? Well, Farah, teacher. Farah. Okay, mm -hmm. Farah, your turn. Farah, your turn. Hands on the face. Hands on the face. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, okay. okay. She needed to use her fingers. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Bara. Okay, moving on. Now, um, Shaza, your answer? Uh, my answer is A. A. So, alternative, ener uh, alternative energy. So, the answer is? Correct. A. Correct. Thank you. So, people, moving on to the next task. Okay, so now, these are the, the correct answer. Now, people, mark your answers and show me your scores with your fingers. So, scores on screen. Scores on screen. How many did you get? How many did you guys score? Okay, so everybody got? Six. Okay, everybody got six over six. So mm -hmm. let us see. Now, so obviously we have unlocked the first objective. So everybody got six over six. Good job, people. So now, task number two, speaking. So what you guys are expected to do in this task is describing, discussing and giving opinions. Okay, now people, you will see two pictures on screen. Then what you have to do is I need someone mm -hmm. to volunteer and to describe and compare the two pictures, picture A and picture B, with whatever vocab, with whatever words you have in mind, people. So any volunteer? Any volunteer, people? Any ah, volunteer? Gigi. Okay, Gigi. Okay, Gigi. Gigi. Thank you, Gigi. Go. Describe and compare, Gigi. Uh, uh, for picture A, mm -hmm. I saw a girl wearing a mask. Okay. Uh, maybe she is uh, in the center of the city. Center of the city. How about picture uh, B? Uh, for picture B, mm -hmm. I see a man uh -huh. who is standing in the center of a field, I think. Okay, so how does he look like? Is he, is he happy? Is he sad? Uh, the first... The... Pictures for picture is uh -huh. the girl looks like little bit hectic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or maybe she is like. And uh -huh. for picture B, uh, picture the B? man is uh, was happy. Happy. Okay. This Thank one. you. Okay. Good job, Gigi. Good job in explaining. Now, people, same pictures, but this time teacher has provided with uh, you guys with some words, some terms, mm -hmm. and some phrases that you can use to describe the. The same pictures. Okay, for now, people try to use these words, mm -hmm. try to use these phrases. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I would like to hear from Yasmin. Yasmin, can you hear it from you, Yasmin? How to describe yes. the two pictures? Okay. Uh, the picture A. Okay. The woman in the city, um, having using using mask because okay. the environment is full of poisonous chemicals. Oh, that, that sounds scary. Poisonous chemicals. Okay, good job. Good job. Picture B. How about picture B, Yasmin? Meanwhile, picture B, the mm -hmm. men did not using mask 
because his environment is very clean. Environment is very clean. Okay, you have done a great yeah. job explaining the pictures. Okay, thank you, Yasmin. Now let us hear. Let us hear it from Badrul. What do you say, Badrul, about the two pictures? Okay. Uh, from from what I see. Yes. Picture A. Picture A. The girl look not look so very happy. Okay, unhappy. Because she is unhappy. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because there is a lot of poisonous chemicals around her. Okay. Maybe. How about picture B? Uh, picture B, the man look very happy mm -hmm. because he is close to nature. Close to nature. Okay, genius. Last one. Mm -hmm. uh, Shaza, describe the yeah. picture, please. Um, picture A, mm -hmm. uh, seems like it's lack of um, lack of? What do you mean, Shaza? Lack of what? Piche, green piche. air. The air is the air. so the air not clean. The no. air is not clean. The For air is her. unclean. Okay. How about picture B, uh. Shaza? Picture B. Picture B seems like mm -hmm. uh, he feels so happy and the clean is clear. Okay. The okay. air is clear. Okay. Good job. Just now. Okay. Now, Gigi. Going back to you again, Gigi. Yes, teacher. Okay, Gigi, do you find it easier or harder to describe the pictures? Okay, is it is it easier to describe the two pictures with or without using the words given? I think with. With. With is easier, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, good job. Okay, now, kids, so whenever you have, when you have enough vocabs, enough words, okay, and then you have a lot of general knowledge, it will help you much in any speaking task. Okay, so moving on, people. Mm -hmm. That means, oh, teacher, sorry. Uh -huh. um, when you're trying to construct a sentence, it would be easier to do bullet points of the keywords first, is it? Yes, mm. that's correct. Because okay. we, we, we need to have, we need to always have something to say when it comes to speaking activity. Mm, okay, okay so now, people, same pictures, but this time you guys can see four questions on screen. Four questions on screen. So I am interested to listen, to hear your answers. For question number three, okay, look at picture A. Everyone, picture A. Now, who is responsible for air pollution? Let us hear it first from Aisha. Aisha? Yes. Okay, Aisha. Mm. So, for you, in your opinion, Aisha, who is responsible for air pollution? Who is the culprit, Aisha? I think mm -hmm. that uh, the one that responsible for the... Air pollution is um, power station. Power stations. Okay, power that could station. be right. Thank you, Aisha. How about you, Yasmin? How about you, Yasmin? Who caused the air pollution? Who holds the biggest share of air pollution? Uh, I think it is the vehicles user. Vehicles because user. Because the okay. smoke, yeah, because the smoke from the vehicles are very dangerous. Okay, thank you, Such vehicles. As? Carbon monoxide. Okay, so look, I have intelligent student here who knows mm. the name of the chemicals. Definitely. Okay, so vehicles, we have power station. How about you, Farah? Well, in my personal opinion, mm -hmm. I think the people uh -huh. is the one should should be blamed because people. they seems they seems um not really concerned about the environment because they're still throwing trash here and there and still mm -hmm. use the vehicle. And, Okay, mm, thank you, Farah. All right. Thank you, Farah. So some people are blaming the power station. Some say the vehicles. Some say the people. Okay, mm. last but not least, um, Gigi, your answer. Who needs to be blamed for the air pollution happening around us, Gigi? I think mm -hmm. uh, I need to blame government because the air pollution. The government itself. Uh oh. Okay, yeah. so somebody is blaming the government for the air pollution. <laughs> okay, that's, that sounds quite risky. Okay, so thank you, Gigi. So uh, what you can see is what we can mm. see is everyone, every of them, they have different per uh, perception. They have different opinions on who to be blamed for the air pollution. I think since we have different opinions, that mm -hmm. calls for a that calls for a 
Nah, task number three. Oh. Okay, so task number three, debate. So now people, you guys will go against each other. You guys have to justify and argue. Mm -hmm. Now, the topic is air pollution. Okay, thank you. So now, there are six of you and there are six different positions. Okay, but people, what you have to do now is um, you have to show me a paper and a marker again. A paper and a marker again. A different paper. A okay, different paper. paper. Mm -hmm. Okay, now people, you have teacher will assign you with different position. Okay, now um, fold the paper and write down the position given to make it a tagging attack. Okay, now government. I think this suits government. Government. This suits Aisha. Yep. Government. Uh, Aisha. Mm -hmm. Aisha. Government. Okay, now farmers. Farmers, that will be, that I think that suits Gigi. Gigi, farmers, <laughs> you love to plant trees, right? Okay, Gigi, power stations goes to Farah. Power station. Okay, thank you. Citizen, Yasmin. So you are saying about the vehicle. So Yasmin, let us see what you have to do, what you have to say about this. Loggers will go to Badrul. But it's yours, it's all yours, Badrul. Last one is factories. Factories will go to Shaza. Okay. okay, that means for today's, uh, for the last activity here, teacher, yes. uh, each of the students are going to test uh, being uh, uh, in part of the government and yes. one will speak on behalf of the citizen and farmers, loggers, power stations and factories. Yeah, they, they uh, are all assigned with different positions because we have to have more um, justification. I okay. see. Okay. okay. So just now, Gigi was pointing out about the government teacher. Yes. Perhaps uh, he maybe later we can ask him what he thinks more about that because I think uh, Aisha is in charge of government for government, right? Yes. Uh, maybe we can have their opinions as well. <laughs> see what's the difference. Okay, okay. So that that that's what we are going to do because we okay. have to give the chances to young generation to True. let out what they what they have to say. Okay, Correct. To pour their heart out. To have yeah. their own opinions and then debate it in a more positive manner. Uh, yes. Okay. yes. Positive manner is the key. Be positive. Yes, okay. correct. Thank you. So can you proceed? Yes, we can, teacher. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. So people, time's up. People? Time's up, kids. Okay. So All listen, right. people, when it comes to speaking tasks, what the most important thing is to be confident. Okay, don't focus too much on your pronunciation and grammar structures. Okay, you, it's just will make you more and more anxious. Okay, mm -hmm. people, be confident. Yes. Now, let us, hear, uh, let us hear first from, I think I would like to hear it first from Farah. Farah, are you ready? Farah? Okay, Farah. Okay, so now Farah, you are representing. Farah, you are representing the? Power station. Power, Power station, okay, now. Farah. Mm -hmm. So, Farah, who do you think is the culprit of the air pollution? Who needs to be blamed, Farah? It's all yours now. I think the one should be blamed for evolution is the government. Government? Because yeah. they're not really sensitive and concerned about what is happening to the environment. Okay. Mm -hmm. They should care about the responsibilities and roles such as warning and going down to the field to inform okay. the community not to commit open burning. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Thank you, Farah. So now, Farah, she, now he just uh -huh. said that the government maybe not fulfill their task. Um, Properly. Right. Uh, okay, so now let us hear from government. Government, Aisha. Okay, So Aisha. Farah is pointing her finger at you. Mm. Aisha, Aisha, you are said to be blamed for the air pollution. Now you have the room to defend yourself, Aisha. Okay, so I think nobody should blame on government. It's mm -hmm. because if all the factories close, the economy will be in a big trouble. Okay. And why is uh, that? So... So the workers would uh -huh. lose their job and become jobless. Okay, become jobless. Then the country, yes. Uh -huh. Then the country would live in poverty. Oh my mm. God. Mm. I'm wrong. Okay, okay, thank you. So now, what Aisha is saying that if the government asks the factories to close down, the, the, the country will end up being in poverty and mm. that is the worst that can happen to any country, right? Okay, yes. good job Aisha in explaining. Now mm. Aisha, now, who will you blame for this time? Aisha? I think mm -hmm. uh, the factory is the one to blame. Factories. Oh, now okay. they are moving the fingers at the factories. Yes. Now let us hear from factories. Uh -huh. Factories, 
Everyone is pointing at you now. Factories is Shaza. Shaza, right? Mm. Okay, now Shaza, defend yourself, justify yourself, Shaza. Um, I think Factor is not the one that should be blamed mm -hmm. because we are the one that provide things to everyone. Examples like um, handphone, mm -hmm. cars, and any any. Okay, so you are the one that supply everything for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Now, since you are saying that you supply everything on us, so what, what are some of the measures that you have taken to prove to the world that you are not to blame for the air pollution? What have you done in, uh, on behalf of the factories, Shaza? Um, okay. uh, we uh, we uh, have used a lot of money mm -hmm. to make sure that we are not can cause the air pollution, like uh, do a filter on our factories. Okay, okay. thank you. So, All see, right. Pika? So now, mm -hmm. Shaza has proven that the factories are trying their best Okay, right. to filter out all the smokes coming from them. Uh -huh. Okay, so not, so not they, they will not cause the air pollution. Right, before that, teacher, yeah. um, uh, from Shaza, uh, so who are you blaming now for the air pollution? Huh. Hmm. I think the one uh, that should I blame is farmers. Farmers. Uh -oh. Wow, that's uh, sort of a surprise. But we'll hear the argument from uh, the person representing farmers, which is a Gigi. But before that, let's take a short break and we return with success as we end Doplo Doplo Satu. See you right then. Dede TV KPM. TV KPM Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Saya Mazatul Akmal binti Sebut Mama kepada Siti Aisyah binti Saiful Johari Calon SPM 2021 SMK Bagan Terap Di sini saya ingin mengucapkan selamat menuduki peperiksaan kepada semua calon-calon SPM 2021 terutama sekali kepada anak saya Siti Aisyah kita semua tahu tak mudah untuk anak-anak ni belajar melalui PDPR di rumah di zaman uh, pandemik ni. Tapi berkat usaha guru-guru dan berkat usaha daripada anak-anak tu sendiri, insya Allah anak-anak boleh berjaya. Mama yakin dengan Aisyah uh, buat sehabis daya. Uh, seterusnya berdoa dan bertawakal kepada Allah, insya Allah. And you're back with success SPM 2021 learning English today uh, with the topic Mother Nature. And just now we've reached our debate session and we've heard from teacher Faiza yes. on uh, from the government, uh, factories and also power stations. And right before the break just now, uh, Shaza representing factories have uh, pointed the finger on air pollution to Farmers. So we'll hear from farmers. Yeah. Ah, first, what's his argument? Okay, thank you. So now, Gigi, your your name has been brought up with someone. Uh -huh. Okay, somebody said that farmers are to blame for the air pollution. But before that, before we hear uh, hear you out, okay, as usual, now teacher will provide some words and some vocab to help you. Okay, to make your justification stronger. Okay, and then to make the opinions are more related to Mother Nature and to air pollution. Okay, so now, so Gigi, you will represent the farmers, and some people say farmers, even though they are, they are the profession is more is closer to the nature itself, but mm -hmm. they are the ones who actually destroying the nature. Okay, oh. so now Gigi, let us say what you have to do, what you have to say about this, Gigi. Okay, mm, I think we are shouldn't be blamed. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, well said that. Well, people say that ammonia. Can make the air unhealthy. Okay. So, not all farmers use pesticide that contain ammonia. Okay. Uh, okay. We also have some other methods that can uh, that more friendly to environment, uh, such as aquaponic systems mm -hmm. that may help uh, may help us to prepare our air so it slowly. Uh, not become polluted. 
Okay, mm, so okay. Gigi, just uh, just now you said something about ammonia. Am I right, ammonia? Yes. Okay, okay, ammonia. How can ammonia harm the nature? Can you please explain? Uh, ammonia contains chemicals that uh -huh. uh, makes the air unhealthy and it's dangerous for our health. Oh, it's dangerous for our health. So, so if somebody inhale uh, the air with ammonia, it will harm the, the health, right, Gigi? Yes. Okay, so it looks okay. like somebody has quite good science knowledge, right? Yes, okay, good. Definitely. So now, Gigi, you are saying that farmers have, uh, they have opted for a healthier technology in mm -hmm. farming. Cleaner, okay. yeah. Cleaner. Mm -hmm. so they, and then now they contribute to cleaner air. So now, Gigi, in this matter, so now you are saying you have defended yourself and you say that you are not to be blamed for the air pollution. So, in your opinion, who's the culprit again? In your opinion, Gigi? Okay, uh, in my opinion, I think I want to blame to the loggers because uh -oh. uh, they cut off all the tree, which is the natural filter for our air. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when it's actually been cut off, uh, our that's the cause of the air pollution. Okay, thank you, Gigi. You have done a good job explaining yourself. So it's expected, actually. Farmers mm -hmm. will blame the loggers. One party plant the trees, one party cut chop the trees the down. Trees. Yeah, they chop down the trees. Mm -hmm. Now, loggers, loggers, what have you done to our nature, loggers? Now, you have, you have all the rooms to defend yourself, loggers. Yes. Okay. Uh, first of all, mm -hmm. my defense. We loggers have to cut down trees to make papers for okay. kids in school okay. so that they can take their exam. Okay, well. Okay. Uh -huh. We also cut trees. We also cut trees to make furniture and to make house. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, just, you, you make uh -huh. papers for students, you make furniture for people, mm -hmm. right? Okay, mm -hmm. so what, what happened if you stop providing the supply of trees? Will it help the nature or how? Uh, it somehow will help, but it okay. also has the downside to the humanity. Oh, mm. wow. Can you please explain that? Enlighten us? The downside? That sounds okay. quite interesting. Mm. Okay, the downside is uh, if we don't cut down trees, we can make more paper so that there will be no longer have Books for kids in school. Oh wow! wow okay. that, can, that can sound like a, a very good, alarming. Oh, right? Okay, so you won't mm. have books to read. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm. Thank you. So that good loggers, point. loggers, they have to do their job, right, Tika? Yes. They, they have right, their own roles to play. Yeah. Now, loggers, who to blame? Yeah. Who to blame, loggers? Uh, in my opinion, I will blame the citizen. 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 Okay. So now, citizen. Thank you. Badro, good job. All right. Citizen, citizen. Finally, Yasmin. Okay. Yes, Yasmin. Say something, Yasmin. Yes. Hmm. Uh, yes, it is true that when people use vehicles, mm -hmm. the smoke can pollute the air. However, a citizen should be more responsible to always keep the vehicles mm -hmm. uh, in good condition. Mm. We always service our vehicles so that they do not become a cause of pollution. Yes. Okay, thank you, Sophie. That's like an advice to me as well. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have to make sure that we do the service on time after this, right? Right, okay. correct. It should be nicer Definitely. to the environment. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Now, Yasmin, what, what happened? What happened if you, if you don't use the vehicles? What will happen then? If we do not use vehicles, uh -huh. uh, maybe uh, who's the worker that is far away from the workplace okay. are going to be late to the work. Okay, uh. they won't be late uh, for work. And then, everybody might might be fired because they, they come late to, uh, to the work. Okay, thank you. Good yes. job, Yasmin. Mm -hmm. I think since we are heading to the end of the lesson, yes. I think we have to hear from Aisha, I think. Mm -hmm. Aisha. Okay, Aisha, so you haven't justified uh, your arguments, government. Aisha. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Aisha, um, why shouldn't people blame the uh, government? Blame you, hmm. Aisha. Why? Defend yourself, Aisha. Okay. okay. So, um, actually, government uh, provide a lot of um, 
what you call it? Budget for budget, yeah. For the you know sources. Yes, sources. So mm-hmm. if government um uh, doesn't do anything, mm-hmm. um our economy will uh, drop. Economy mm-hmm. will drop. Okay, so what will happen if the economy drops? What will happen? What's the worst that can be? That can happen. Uh, our what we call it? Um, what we call? Economy? Are you looking for economy? Uh, yes. Um. Uh huh. Okay. So when, when okay, you are saying that if the government are not allowed to do what they have been doing. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. Until now, so mm-hmm. you say that the the economy will go down. So now, Aisha, can you please suggest one way on how Im- uh, how government can improve themselves in mm-hmm. order to lead to a healthier environment, in order to reduce the level of air pollution? Can you do so, Aisha? So, in my opinion, yes. I think uh, we can do uh, something like uh, you know Nature uh-huh. Day. Nature Day, on okay. Twenty two April. Twenty ah. okay, twenty second of April. So okay. what what can we do on that uh, particular Nature Day, Aisha? Mm. Any suggestion? Yes. Uh, okay, it's okay. Thank you, thank you, I Aisha. I think she so, meant basically raising awareness. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh, okay. raising, uh, raising the awareness among the society. Okay, mm-hmm. thank you. So I think we have heard from everyone. Right. So we have heard the justification from all the position, guys. You guys have made me so proud with mm-hmm. your with your arguments and opinions. So right. I think since we have done all the three tasks, that shows that we have unlocked the ah. third objective. So okay. now one, two, three, we have unlocked all three adjectives. That means that we have come to the end of the lesson itself thank you and there you go thank you students for participating say participating in this debate a uh, very good job on answering all uh, your uh, points okay. to protect uh, what you're representing but also teacher yes? since we've heard a lot from uh, the government lo- logger factories farmers uh, power stations and all that uh, perhaps you can share with us uh, what is actually what is the bottom line from the lesson that we can get from today's uh, class? Okay, okay, thank you. Now, now, people, since we have had all the arguments, all the justification, we have seen that everybody has their own role to play. Mm-hmm. Okay, so everybody, uh, actually, everyone is to be blamed. Mm-hmm. Okay, everyone is to blame for the air pollution. What the what matters the most is to find out the possible solutions as fast as uh, as fast as we can, because. Uh, we will not function properly if we are doing something bad to the mother nature. So mother nature has mm-hmm. been so kind to us, providing everything that we need. So we have to pay back, right. give our best back to the nature itself. The same way we pay back to our mothers, how yes. they take care of us, we have to take care of them too, teacher. Correct, and teacher. it's also a holistic approach. Everyone yes. has to do their job for mother nature. Yes. All right, teacher Faisa, thank you so much for being with us in the studio. And also, okay. students, you are so creative and active today. Thank you for being with us. All right, for those out there, we'll be on our uh, Success SPM 2021 again at the same time tomorrow. So be sure to t- uh, tune in. Uh, till we meet again, teacher. Assalamualaikum. Bye. Bye, students.